Okay, hello everyone, welcome to this new video review. Today we're going to be testing and reviewing this new light that I got some time ago. Uh, it's some eBay HED, HED, I say HED, so HED, maybe HED, I don't know. Uh, torch, it claims to have 4000 uh, lumens output. It comes with different accessories, so you have green, red, blue, and yellow filters. I think they. I never use the filters since they are rubbered in the in the border, and it seems to be a very hard plastic. So and it gets really hot, so I don't risk using them. It can, it comes with this very nice aluminium and foam foam case to carry it around. It comes with two of these that I don't find the other one. These are to cover the two polarities of the battery when you're carrying it around. This cleaning thing comes with the charger because the charger is because the battery is rechargeable it would be really awful to not be able to recharge such a such a huge battery and it comes with the car charger as well the light itself um, the light used this par very particular battery it's especially made for this light <laughs> so the, the battery itself is much bigger than most of my other lights. So you'll see here, I will compare the battery. This is a PD35 from Phoenix. And there you have the battery. That's pretty much the size of it. Uh, the light doesn't come with the manual and the specs, so I had to look for the specs in the, in the internet. And since it's a Chinese f a manufacturer and Chinese sellers, they claim to have different million powers and it doesn't have doesn't say it here so it some places it says that it's 4400 million power in some places that it's over 6000 million power in some other places it says that it's over 7000 million power I don't really know that so now uh, and in order to charge the battery you have to take it off the light you have to bring it there and then it's charging. Um, that's it. So, uh, as you and as you see here, the button, the on-off button, it's built in the battery. So that's it. You put the little battery inside the light. You screw it in, and there you have the button coming out for the light. The light uh, has basically three modes. You'll see low, middle, and high. 45, 65, and 85 watts of output. When you are using it in the field or in the woods, it's not too easy to notice uh, the difference between each of the outputs. It's a very, very low difference. But after a while, you can it can be make um, some change between one and another. But it's not so big. So, to the output and the interface. One click. And you will see that, as you see there, flashes a little bit, and then it takes a while to activate the HED because the HED is a quite a complex technology, so it takes a while to. There you have. You see that it has some different patterns in the beam, and in the lowest output you have red color. Then you have middle blue color, high green color and one more and you go off so that is basically the interface very simple interface always going low middle high low middle high doesn't have memory function that's a good thing I in my opinion because it's such a powerful light that even the low is quite high <laughs> so uh, you don't want to blind everyone up and since it takes a while to activate in the full uh, output yeah, it's okay. It, as you see here, the design is has the ventilation design the, to avoid overheating. But anyway, it will get really hot. This one, after a while, after 10, 20 minutes, it is impossible to touch it. So that's a good thing that you have the shoulder strap. And you see here, it comes with some suggestion. After long time lightning, don't torch the glass. In order to avoid her, uh, yeah. 
So you don't torch the glass, okay? Don't ever torch it. <laughs> touch. I think it should be to say touch the glass, but yeah. My English is not so good either. Um, so that's basically the light. The beam pattern is a very foc has a very tight and focused spot beam, but it also has some super wide uh, area light. So when you're lighting in the distance sometimes, because it's very good for lighting in the distance, you will notice that around you, you have a very good spill area as, uh, as well. Um, it has some different designs in the, reflect in the reflector, you see there that it has some lines, circles. So that will make the beam pattern to have some design in it. But that's basically it. The battery life depends on the output you're using. So if you're using in the lowest output, you will have an hour and 40 minutes of light. In the middle, you will have an hour and 20 minutes. And in the lowest, in the highest, you will have one hour. So that's basically it when it comes to the output and the and the battery life. And now we will go to the outdoors in the dark, so you can see how this not so little light does there. See you. As you know, it will start in the lowest output, and you will see here I will light very close. You see that it flashes a little bit and then it takes a while to reach the highest output. So in order for you to notice how much it lights, I had to point very far because it's really powerful. So for example that tree that I'm lighting down now must be at least some 50 meters from me. And we are in the lowest setting. Um, with no problems at all, and of course, if I light close, you see how far, how powerful it is. Those trees that I'm pointing now must be 20 meters from me. There's no problems to see them. We we'll go a bit higher. That's the most powerful one. So, for example, you don't notice it too much in the camera, but for me it's more than clear to my eyes it's extremely clear a very focused beam but also if I point here I'm sorry for that around me the spill area is just awesome you see there that's the focus beam but here around you see the spill area is extremely wide so it's super good if you are searching, for example, you want to have a uh, very far, a long range vision in the middle of the night. Those trees that I'm pointing now are at least 100 meters from me. And I see them with absolutely no problem there. 100 meters, 50 meters, 30 meters, and of course in my eyes I can, I don't know if you can see it there, I'll try to focus a bit the beam, it's really hard because it's so powerful but the camera takes a while to adjust, so as you see the very focused beam, the the width, I don't know how to say it in English, the focus beam, the, the beam at about 50 meters must be, must be approximately 10 meters wide. So that focus beam that you're seeing there is actually some 10 meters wide, that circle of light. But yet it's very powerful. So you see every single detail there in that tree at least 50 meters from me. If I go further over there, at least some hundred meters, the circle of light must be maybe so 15, 20 meters wide and it's super clear. To the camera it's a bit complicated because of the light balance, but for me it's more than clear. That's the tight beam, but you see here when I bring it back to the normal vision, 
the width, the wide uh, area is super good. So I can keep searching things in the distance, but I still will keep some very nice wide vision. I'll try to focus a little bit more. See down there, those trees also maybe 15, 80 meters. A super good light. All of those trees must be at least some 50, uh, 50 meters from me. Of course, it will go much farther than that. You can see every detail. super clear okay we are in a different scenario it's a little bit like closer mid-range illumination there you have the HAD again HAD sorry my pronunciation it, in the camera you don't notice too well the white area around but you can see that even though it's a bit uneven as you see there it's really wide so that tree 20 meters wait until the camera focus 20 meters those trees in the back again 50 meters super clear so again we will compare this is the HAD Super clear all the area around is very clear, I can see with no problems. Maybe for you it's a bit complicated, but for me it's really clear. And now we will try the night core, so you can see a little bit of the difference. There you have the night core. Even though it's really powerful, 960 lumens. You see that there are those same trees, 50 meters. It's really hard to focus after so bright. It's really complicated to get to the curve in the road. There you see night core. That is night core, and this is H A D again. Wait until it loads. This is H A D. Much more clear, and once again the camera doesn't make any justice to how really powerful it is of course it has much shorter battery life but it's because the emitter is not as efficient I mean as economic <laughs> for so to say it but you see how much po more powerful it is and uh, it's important to say that the color tint it's really cold blue or cold white I don't know how to say it it's a little bit bluish sometimes but anyway the color rendering is anyway quite well it's so powerful that that doesn't matter okay and so now you will see that when you turn it off it keeps so gets so warm that it takes a while until it turns completely off. 
Okay, so that was it. Uh, with the H A D I D A, my pronunciation is really bad. You see, there 45, 65, and 85 watts. So that's it. Thanks for watching.